Do you want to get your glutes popping and alleviate some of your low back pain? Well, tune into this week's version of Thorough Thursday, where we go over banded hip abductions. So let's get to it. So whenever I do this exercise, I prefer to use one of the fabric type bands because not only do they provide a little bit more resistance, but they stay attached to your legs a little bit more. So when I do this exercise, I'm gonna find a seat, simply put the band around my knees just below the kneecap, keeping my feet firm on the ground. I'm just gonna push my knees out to the side as hard as I can, bring it back in under control while maintaining tension in the band and continue to push out until I've completed my set. So whenever I do this exercise, when I'm looking for a seat, I'm gonna look for something that's just in level with my hips or right below. The reason for that is the deeper your hip bend or hip flexion is, the more the glute medius is going to contract. So by utilizing the contraction in that glute medius, that's not only going to help build a rounder glute, but that's also going to help transfer in movements such as your squats and deadlifts when stabilizing those hips in those movements. Now, if you're an athlete, this is also a great exercise to do because this is the thing that helps stabilize your hips while you're running in motion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Thorough Thursday. If you have any questions for your strength training needs, please go to agogiperformance.com.